What do I do? Hi everyone. I don't know what's going on. Thanks to Twitch chat, I discovered that this whole thing hasn't been streaming on YouTube. My page says that I'm still live. <laughs> Am I live now? Can you see me on YouTube? I've been deducting. I don't know if I should... Well, I should surely... I'm only in round two. I can start again. Apologies if you've seen uh, all this already on Twitch. Hey, Alan. I don't know what's going on. Okay, let's... Let's start again. This happened once before with uh, YouTube's trickery. Okay. I assume you can you can see me and hear me. Okay. But, uh... <laughs> yeah, I've got no idea, Alan, why uh, it wasn't on. Yeah, thankfully, I was alerted through Twitch that uh, the YouTube stream had not started because my page says it's been going the entire time. Uh, but anyway, that doesn't matter. Uh, deduction time. So, awkward guests. It's a murder mystery. It's kind of uh, Cluedo with cards and an app. I am uh, playing through a solo game of it, but with the solo game, as I was informed by uh, Georgina in the Discord, uh, I'd kind of overlooked this game. It's it's from a few years ago, uh, but yeah, you, you can play it solo with this app, which also makes the multiplayer game better. In the multiplayer game, you can guess, and if you're wrong, you're out because you know the answer. If you play with the app, the app doesn't tell you the answer. You have to sit out a round if you're wrong, but you can carry on playing. But either way, Mr. Walton has been murdered, and there are suspects. There are six suspects. There are many motives. There are many possible murder weapons that could have been used. And it's our job to find out what's going on and uh, and solve this murder, really. So we need to know who was it, why did they do it, how did they do it, and depending on the difficulty. So I think I'm going to go for medium difficulty. What do you reckon? We, we can go for... Easy difficulties, there definitely won't be an accomplice. But you can go up to very hard, perfect crime. I don't think I'm that good. I'm thinking medium. What do you reckon? I, I, I haven't even got the skills to properly start a stream on YouTube, so I don't think that I should be uh, going for <laughs> the harder difficulties. Uh, but what's, what's going to happen is, in the solo game we are going to be given uh, numbers of cards to get from... Uh, there, there are like 240 cards in the game. I'm just going to have to lay these cards out that I had before, in case it asks me to grab them again. Uh, but yes, in the, in the multiplayer game, we would have hands of cards. You can ask for information on two things, either suspects or rooms, and people make offers to you, so the, this card might not necessarily be in our game, but they have an information value on them. And so you can ask about uh, Greg and the kitchen. And if I have a card that says kitchen, I can offer that to you uh, with the amount that the information is worth. But you don't know what the information is yet. And you have to give me some of your cards, share information in that way. In the solo game, which is going to make bids basically on cards. Uh, and we, we get a, a certain amount of points. We want to solve the game before those points run out. Uh, so And try and choose well to stop getting duplicate cards, as you would in the multiplayer game as well. Although if someone keeps offering you duplicate cards, you start to think, well, maybe I'm not going to uh, choose your cards. So the cards that I need. I'll just grab these. This is the most uh, time-consuming part. It's just grabbing out all of these things. But hopefully I'm fairly speedy. 127, 169... 188. Early doors. Who do you reckon did it? Uh, 197, 199. So we have some information to start with. 
so we know the service staff who can be trusted by the way the service staff will tell us the truth the service staff reports that none of the guests entered the vestibule from the trophy room and vice versa well this is good information because the suspect we might find out where they say they were and you know if there's a path from where they are to the study which is the crime scene then yes they could very well have done it if we know they were in there and their path was blocked by a couple of uh, it, these pieces of information we know they're innocent uh, so the service staff reports that none of the guests entered the vestibule from the trophy room and vice versa so this arrow here so they could still have gone vestibule billiard room trophy room so that tells us about vestibule and trophy room so we might want to avoid asking about those two things unless we want more information about them uh, then next up we know that Mortimer W. Mollo claims that he was with Claudette at the time of the murder so I'll write that in claims with Claudette make a nice little display of these to try and stop asking for duplicate bits of information next time uh, then we know uh, supporting evidence regarding Stanley Smythe's motive, fake identity, was discovered. Well, everyone has three possible motives, and for each of those motives, there are supporting bits of evidence. But, just because there's supporting bits of evidence doesn't necessarily mean that that was the actual motive for the murder. Uh, it, could have, it, it could very well be a good motive, but wasn't necessarily the thing that caused this murder. Stanley Smythe's motive, fake identity. Hi, Joel. How's it going? I've been having uh, stream issues. Uh, everyone, if, especially if you're watching back later, like the video and comment on it and stuff and subscribe to the channel. It's great. You can find shirts for it now if you would like uh, on uh, sirmeeple.com. Fantastic shirts. Thanks, Tim, for sorting out a shirt. Yes. Oh, and everything is funded by patreon.com forward slash slicker drips if you'd like to join up and help me make more of this stuff. So yes, we know more about that motive. We know that the Q was not the murder weapon. So we can cross that off here. So the Q is not the murder weapon. So if someone was in the billiard room, they weren't there getting a murder weapon. We know that after examining the body, the coroner did not find traces of a dark powder. So we can look at the signs here. So that's a little pyramid there. Any weapon that's got that as a sign can be crossed off now. So it wasn't the frying pan. It wasn't the blunderbuss. What else? It wasn't the rat poison. I think that's that. And then finally, we know that Mortimer Mollo asserts that Stanley Smythe might have been involved in the murder, motivated by fake identity. So that's Mortimer saying that. Maybe I can just stay in this view. Is the app visible at this size? I can show you the cards and stuff, of course. I can make a, a nice display of some of these. It's just there's crossovers in all the topics, isn't there? Can't quite organize them brilliantly. So what would we like to ask about in the first round we can ask about two things they can be locations or they can be suspects so stanley smythe seems pretty suspicious i mean we found evidence and mortimer's pointed him out i want to know where he was i think i'm going to ask about stanley smythe and it always feels like a good shout asking for the study because that will give you a lot of information on like the cause of death and stuff. Yeah, I think I'm going to ask about the study. I don't want to waste too many points doing this. Have you played, Joel? I really, like I say, I, I am uh, new to this, even though it's not a new game. I, I, don't, I can't remember why, but I kind of put it out of my mind as one that I would like. But I love deduction games. 
I don't know if I got it confused and thought it was a social deduction game at some point. Uh, but yeah, not only is it a great multiplayer deduction game, but it's got this solo mode in it. Uh, so now I've got 90 points for the entire game. And I can spend them on cards now. So, do you know what? I am tempted two cards worth there for six points total. That means both of those cards are threes and potentially very good. Hopefully we don't get offered the card we've already got, though. Or three cards worth for four points total. We know that it's definitely not going to be a card I've already got. Or three cards worth for five points. Yeah, I'm going to go for that. 72, 73, 84. So 72, 73, 84. So what have we been told? After examining the body, the coroner did not find signs of a fight. So these arrows, it's not the shotgun. It's not the saber. It's not the pillow or the curtain cord. So I think that's that. And then either Angelica or Stanley Smythe might have passed through the trophy room. Okay, so Angela or Stanley passed through. Hmm, okay. And Stanley's the one that I'm really suspicious about. Uh, Angelica Alberson claims she was with Stanley Smythe. Claims with Stanley. Okay. Yeah, I didn't realise it had a solo mode. It's thanks to thanks to Georgina in Discord for for letting me know about it because I think this would really work well co-op as well. Hey Triple L. Yeah, I I feel like this got passed over because I definitely passed over it when it came out. I am uh, brand new to it. So that is the round. I asked about two things. What do you think we should ask about next? So I've already asked about Stanley and the study. We can ask later, but we run the risk of getting duplicate bits of information. I would like to kind of know more about Mortimer. Says he was with Claudette. Maybe we should ask Claudette. We could try and find out more about Angelica, but we might find out those two pieces of information were both just about Angelica and Stanley. So if we ask for those... If we ask for Angelica, we might just get those two pieces of information again. But you have to use a bit of deduction as to the points that you're spending as well. We know from the sheet now then, so that there was no murder weapon in here. In any of these rooms at the bottom. So they could have been in the vestibule to begin with and then passed through the trophy room on the way to the study. It might be worth finding out about the garage. Because if we find a route from the garage was blocked off, they could still have gone through the vestibule in this long way around, but maybe that would be something to know about. Jekka, that's a good, uh, a good call. Angelica and the garage. We'll see, see how it goes from uh, from what it offers me, I think. So, two points worth, two cards for two points. I am worried that it's just going to give me the same two cards I just had. Two cards for six points. I don't think there's going to be any, that's a lot of points, but I don't think there's going to be any overlap there. So I'm going to go for that. 91, 204. Ninety-one. I thought I'd already had ninety-one, but it's uh, the one I had in the 
uh, the, the, the first two rounds of a game that I had when the stream wasn't working. Uh, so, we know. The police report that shows, among the possible motives, none were of the type resentment. So that refers to Angelica, the Beric sisters, and Greg. So, we can see these types with the lightning bolts. None of those were the motive. Then, uh, among the possible motives, none were of the type financial. And then Stanley Smythe. Well, I think if it's Stanley, uh, we've got two pieces of evidence leading us to believe that it was the fake identity. So, what do we reckon here? What does that tell us? It's given us a bit more information as to what the motives might be, but I got nothing about the garage. What if I asked about the garage and the billiard room? Because if those two got blocked off, or we find out they went through the garage or something... I've still got 79 points. So what do I know about the billiard room so far? Have I been given any information about the garage or the billiard room? The cue was not the murder weapon, so I've already had a one-pointer. Three cards for five points is... that's... Oh yeah, so one could be a three. And and two ones or it could be two twos and a one i don't think there's going to be much overlap it's going to be the q if anything i'm going to go for the big five pointer what do you reckon have you got any inklings based on the the clues that we've seen so far uh, it's one three two one three two one four nine one nine four okay then so three new pieces of information which i'm pleased about we know that the service staff reports oh this is what i wanted to know none of the guests entered the billiard room from the trophy room and vice versa so if we find out anyone was in these rooms they could still go this way we need more information, but it kind of, if, um, if Angelica or Stanley were in this room, they would have passed through it, right? So they could have started here. This could be one of the murder weapons straight to the study committing the crime. Uh, then we know the service staff reports that Stanley Smythe and Mortimer Mollo did not pass through the garage. Okay. So... I don't know about you, but that kind of points the suspicion now straight at Angelica. Hi, Sam. How's it going? We are in the preliminary stages of trying to solve a murder. So we know that Angela or Stanley passed through the trophy room, right? The only... But nobody went through these ways... So they could only have gone to the garage. We now know that M Mortimer and Stanley, who I was suspicious of, did not go through the garage. So Angelica passed through here. Now that, of course, doesn't mean that she's a murderer. But she also claims she was with Stanley. And the murderer wants to claim they were with someone for an alibi. Okay. I like that bit of information. And finally, Skates. Uh, supporting evidence regarding Mortimer W. Mollo's motive, broken dreams, was discovered. Again, even if we get all of uh, the supporting evidence for the motives, doesn't necessarily mean that that was the actual motive. So I've already asked for information about Angelica. I would like to know more about weapons. So if we find out that it was like the machete and the Derringer gun, then yeah, my suspicions are going to be right up. It reminds you of Black Sonata. 
this Black Sonata. So uh, I, I just managed to get a copy a month or so ago from someone selling it on Facebook, I think. Uh, yeah, I haven't played it yet. This is uh, another one that I would like to do. I was going to do like a week of deduction things, but uh, it hasn't worked out that way. But I would like to... I really like to play Black Sonata. I've heard great things about it. That's a that's a solo only deduction game. If you haven't seen uh, Black Sonata, uh, how how does Black Sonata handle it? It it doesn't need an app or anything like that. Have you seen? Uh, but also, the Search for Planet X works solo brilliantly. It's a fantastic deduction game. Um, Cryptid is an also an absolutely brilliant one. Can't do that one solo though. Love deduction games and logic puzzles and stuff. Not great at them, but I really like them. Uh, so what do you think we should ask about? But thanks for reminding me about that, because uh, I want to make sure something happens with Black Sonata soon. Maybe the bedroom? It's just I'm wary of asking about the same things again, just because we might get... My friend's really uh, bugging me that it's <laughs> so prominent. Um... I'm thinking the bedroom. So maybe we'll find that they went through the bedroom. And what about asking about Claudette? Because Mortimer reckons that he was with Claudette. And I haven't asked anything about her yet. Hopefully. Looking at my... So we do have one thing that references... Claudette. Bedroom. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll ask about them. So I've been offered two cards worth for five points. Two cards worth for three points. Three cards worth for three points. We're about two cards worth for five. I'm just burning through these points though. One one six two three nine. Oh, thanks, sir. That's for the super chat. <laughs> Your black sonata through the internet waves. I can definitely. I can definitely play black sonata with you in a stream. Our Thursday's best for you, Sam, for when you can uh, be around. You were here for the Thursday night's <laughs> Sleeping God's Disaster, weren't you? I'm, I'm moving along the, the table the whole time. Uh, so, what do we know? The service staff reports that Claudette and Stanley... Did not pass through the bedroom. Okay. Well, I wasn't suspicious of Claudette, but that's some uh, some more information. So in the bedroom, no S, no C. And also, uh, the among the possible motives, none with a type payback. So Claudette, Greg. Mortimer. Okay. Hmm. This is kind of how I uh, felt in the real game while other people were solving the mystery. I'm kind of uh, swimming around not getting a lot. So unless the murder weapon is one of these four and Stanley went around this way I'm kind of feeling the pressure coming off Stanley I would like to I'd like some people to tell me where they were though What do you reckon I should ask about you set up a vicarious black sonata Thank you. I'm looking forward to it. See what Shakespeare's going on about.
We could ask. We could just keep asking about different people to hopefully avoid crossover. But we've got to kind of zero in on these things. So what did I get told about the garage? We've got those things told from last time. Angelica, broken-hearted with, um, with poison. I think there's a lot of chance for crossover asking about Angelica again, but my that's where my suspicions are as well. What about... What about the sh I haven't asked about the shed yet. And maybe we can just cross off another route. And I don't know anything about the Beric sisters. I'm going to ask about them. <gasps> Three cards for seven points. I've got 69 points still. I'm going for it. 91. I've already had 91. Okay, we've got crossover. The trouble is, I don't remember what that card was anymore. I wish it would say, oh, let's cross over with that card again. Do you remember that one? One, five, six. So we already know about one of them. And unfortunately, it was a three cost card that I already know about. Was it the resentment one? Yeah, 91 was the it's not resentment. But we know it's not vengeance either. So that completely clears the Beric sisters. I know they weren't under suspicion, but, well, everyone's under suspicion still. Till they've been ruled out. So it was not vengeance. And the Beric sisters claim they were alone. So if anyone claims they were with them, which they haven't, but if anyone claims they were with them, I am inclined to believe the Beric sisters. What should we ask about? So that that was crossover because of Beric sisters, because we did already have a card on them. Just because they're named on a card with multiple people. I want to ask about the garage again. And get a their one piece their one cost bits of information where people have been. I want to ask about the garage again. And what else? Have I been told anything about the kitchen? I haven't. I don't know anything about it. Which might be because it's irrelevant. Three cards, three points. I'm going to go for that. Three, forty, sixty-five. Three, forty. I think this is three new bits of evidence. Here we go. So we've got the service staff reports that none of the guests entered the trophy room from the garage and vice versa. Well, that does confuse me. <laughs> so when, when the service staff say Angelica passed through, where is that? Oh, nobody told me that. It just said Angelica or Stanley might have passed through the trophy room. So I'm, I'm that. That's nothing, is it? Might have passed through. Well, if they did, they're innocent. If An if Angelica was in there, she's innocent because she didn't come out. Okay, Greg or Mortimer might have passed through the kitchen. And rat poison was not the murder weapon. I already know that. Oh, I am just wasting points. Okay, we got 59 points left, though. What do you reckon? Who 
We got a suggestion for what I should ask about. So Angelica says she was with Stanley. Maybe we should ask Stanley. See if we can find out where he says he was. But we might just get that again. Garage. For weapons. Yeah, we didn't really get much about the garage in there, did we? We got the trophy room to the garage connection. Yeah, those weapons are all available still, aren't they? And I think I'm going to try and get something up about Stanley. I'm going to go garage and Stanley. So... Two cards for three points, three cards for three points, three cards for five points. So about the garage, I already have some twos and a one. And I think that's all I know about the garage. Some twos and a one. And about, what else did I ask about? Stanley. I have some threes, so they probably aren't on offer. I have one, two, three ones. I have a two about Stanley. Maybe Stanley was a bad idea. I could just grab one random card. What do you reckon? Three cards for three points, or a random card with one, or all the other two options. What do you reckon? Ladies preferred poison? Apparently not. No, that's uh, Angelica, and that's been that's been a hundred percent ruled out. It could have, we were quite narrowed down on the motives. If we can find out who it was, we know what their motive was, unless it's Claudette. Could be two things for her still. So I'd really like something that separates some of these people. Or at least tells you where they were or something. Maybe it's just going to have to be a random card that does that. Two cards for three points. Three cards for five points. Because the two might just be one of these Stanleys that I've already got. I'm going to go three for three. 84, 113, 151. One. So 84 is not there. One one three is there. And one five one's there. So so only one point wasted there. That's not too terrible. Uh, let's have a look then. So Stanley Smythe claims that he was with Angelica. Well, I'm suspicious of the both of them. Have we? But they could be telling the truth. They're either both telling the truth, or they are murderer and accomplice. Greg Gaffney asserts that Stanley Smythe might have been involved in the murder motiva motivated by a macabre bet. Well, no, he wasn't. We definitely know that's not true. Or it could have been true, but was definitely not the motive for murder. Uh, so... Yeah, they will either declare they were alone or accompanied by other suspects that were truly in the library. Yeah. If a suspect claims to have been with another suspect and vice versa, that, yeah, either neither of them are the murderer or they are the murderer and accomplice. And the tell me about the cards that say people could have been somewhere. If one of the suspects is the murderer, then he or she did pass through that room. If the room named in the card is the location of the crime weapon, then one of those suspects is the murderer. Otherwise, this card has no useful information. Okay. So the mur 
so basically, that card's irrelevant, isn't it? Because the murder weapon couldn't have come from here because all of these exits are blocked off. Right? Do you reckon, am I okay in my deduction there? So it can't have been the machete or the derringer. Because nobody could have come out of that room. So they claim they were with each other. And I've still got 56 points. So Mortimer or Greg went through the kitchen. When they could be the murderer and accomplice for all I know. All we know is it wasn't the Beric sisters. We narrowed it down to 10 weapons. I think we've halved the weapons, right? So I still want to know about the shed. What about the weapons in the shed? Ask about shed. I agree. And what about the bedroom? There's still a lot of possibilities and roots and things from the bedroom. I'm going to go for... So what do I know about those things? I know nothing about the shed, right? Just looking at my great big thing of information. I do know one thing about the bedroom. Which is a two. So I am risking, if I go for three cards worth four points, one of them could be this. Or two cards worth three points. I think I'm going to go... Three cards worth three points. 81. 81. Dropped some. 134. 168. And I think, yeah, this is small bits of information, but I think three new bits of information. What do we know? Okay. The service staff reports nobody entered the library from the shed, and vice versa. Okay. So, oh, there is still a route to the, the murder from there. The letter opener was not the murder weapon. Oh, that is new. For the bedroom. And the revolver was not the murder weapon. That is new. That is brand new information. Okay. I feel like... We, oh, we found out a bit of root information about the shed. I feel like I've still not been told much about the shed. Right? That's the only bit of information I have on it. Which could very well mean it's completely irrelevant. You should stop asking about it. But... I'm very suspicious of Angelica. I'm going to go... So we've got a, a one-cost bit of information about the shed. I feel like asking about the vestibule. Who cares? We want to know about people moving through these routes. Because it could have just been that like Angelica was in the shed, went straight to the study murdered because the accomplice doesn't have to have gotten there do they they're just like covering for them and stuff but we don't know where they claim to have been have i got any like two cost information about angelica because i could maybe try and get that i'm gonna go shed and angelica but I want to try and get two cost information. Three cards for six points. Or two cards for five. That's going to be a three and a two. I've already got two cards that cost three about her though.
and load and quite a few that cost one. Now, if those three cards are all are twos, then this is going to work out really well. Otherwise, I've just wasted loads of points. 58. 73 isn't there. 91 isn't there. I have just wasted four points. But we know that. Angelica and Stanley did not pass through the kitchen. So that is still not saying anything negative about my theory that Angelica just went from the shed to the study. Why will you not tell me anything about the shed? I've only got 47 points left now. And I feel like things should be coming together more than they are. So a lot of people could still have been the murderer, right? Let's ask about people we don't know much about. What about Greg? I know like one thing about Greg, right? I don't want the expensive things because we know motive wise. And I'm going to ask about the shed again. I want cheap bits of information. I'm going to go for a random card with one point. We know that the Derringer gun was not the murderer. I know that. I know that. Okay, should I ask? Was that? That's not even about the shed. Oh, so it means like a completely random card. Okay, then. So what about... Who am I asking about? Greg. I don't know any one-cost cards, right? About Greg. So two for two wouldn't be too bad. 51. 129. Um, either Claudette or Greg might have passed through the bedroom. Because they might be the team. And Greg claims that he was in the vestibule. What should I be asking about here? What am I missing? Is there like an obvious bit that I should be asking about? Maybe I should try and find out more about Claudette. Since her, like Mortimer reckons that he was with Claudette. And Mortimer could have passed through here. Mortimer could be the sole murderer. And just be pretending that he was with Claudette. I do know a cheap bit of information about... A couple of cheap bits of information about Mortimer. Yeah, there's a lot of chance for a crossover now. I want to know more about the Shed. But they just won't tell me. What about, we could try in the study again, but we could just get for more cause of death stuff. But it could just be the ones that I've already seen. Just because it, it might narrow down as well. The locations. How about cost twos? Three cards for six points. Oh. 116. Already got it. 211. 239. 239. Already got it. 
I feel it slipping away. The case is slipping away. Uh, Angelica reckons that Claudette might have been motivated by a uh, fatal rejection, which she might have been. I think I need help. I need more hints. So, stuff I got from the study, I already knew. Or about Angelica. Uh, Claudette I was asking about, wasn't I? But Angelica told me something. What if we could get an expensive card about... Oh, wait, an expensive card about Angelica might just be the motives, which we know a lot about already. I'm going to go... What about kitchen? But Stanley, def Stanley or Angelica didn't go through there, so if it was them, it's pointless asking. Mortimer didn't go through the garage, so Angelica could just have come through here. I'm going to go garage and shed. So I know one little thing about the shed. I know one one cost bit of information about it. Garage, I know a couple of things, right? Oh, don't I? Okay. I must know at least one thing, because I've got some writing in it. Yeah, I know one little thing. Hi, Shiffy. I need help. We're solving a murder. So two cost things would be okay, right? Because the only thing I know about the shed is one cost. 149, 194. I already know 149. So that was some terrible deduction. I already know 194. Yep, yeah, it's just told me these. Uh, Mortimer's evidence and that they went through there. Well, that's my bad. What? So basically, where we are right now. We've got strong suspicions. Angelica and Stanley both claim they were with each other. If they are the murderer and accomplice, I don't know which is which yet. But we know their motives, because their other two can't be. Mortimer did not go through the garage. He might have passed through the kitchen. Any of these eight could have been the murder weapon. And there are still a lot of routes to the crime scene. I keep asking about the shed, but getting no information. But I'm at such a high risk, I think, of getting duplicate... Duplicate clues, asking about a lot of these places now. I could try for cheap information about the garage. What if I ask again, and just go for one cost cards? Three, I've already got 44's new, here we go, and 80, Ugh. I already know 81. Uh, nobody went to the study from the shed. Oh, Ooh. well, that is definitely worth it then, because now nobody went, oh no, it doesn't. Okay, well, it doesn't completely rule these weapons out because someone could still have gone from the shed through the kitchen to the bedroom. Loads of ways. But it means if it's Angelica or Stanley, it 
it rules out four weapons because they did not go through the kitchen. So it would mean the kitchen weapon is not theirs and all three of these are not theirs. And would narrow it right down. How do we find that out, though? How can we narrow it down a bit further? Because I could just be completely chasing the wrong lead still. I've only got 31 points left. I feel like there's going to be so much crossover if I'm asking about Angelica or Stanley again, because I've got so many cards about them now. Stanley didn't go through the bedroom or the garage. So Stanley's not the murderer, right? Stanley can't be the murderer. So he could still be not M. He, could, he still could be the accomplice covering for Angelica. But these other people could still be the murderers. If I could just get some information about Angelica didn't pass through the bedroom or something. If Angelica's the murderer, it's one of these four things. And we know why. Extreme principles. I want to know more about these murder weapons. So do we go to the study? But just risk knowing a cause of death that we already know. And garage. Okay, I'm definitely not spending nine points because I think they're going to be the three motive things I've already got. Two cards for three points. Three cards for five points. I'm going for three cards. Three I've definitely already had about five times. 24 is new. 44 is not new. So we've got one new bit of information. Uh, a firearm was not used. We know that! Oh. But it could... Yeah, you're right, Joel. It could still be Claudette. It could be Claudette and Mortimer, because he claims he was with her. What do I know about Claudette? To try and avoid crossovers. A load of ones. A two and a three. We need to ask about Claudette. And what else? We can rule out the Beric sisters, definitely. I don't think Greg's had anything to do with it. Although he could have passed through here. I just felt like, should I know at this point? Should I have some kind of strong thing? Yeah, could have been antifreeze. I'm going to go Claudette and study, and I want twos. Two cost cards. Two cards for five points is too risky. Two cards for three points, I'm more inclined to do. One, one, six, one, nine, two. One, one, six is a crossover. 
192 is new and is a one cost card. Uh, it is not Claudette's Fatal Rejection. So it still could be her. We've still got a motive. So if we can get someone else that's not going through the bedroom, then you have to, that rules out the kitchen and the bedroom and they would have had to come from the garage. I feel like I've asked about the garage so many times though and it's just not telling me. I've made the wrong choices. So I know two cheap things about the bedroom and that's it. No, I must have been told other things. Because I know I've got things written down here. So I know mostly cheap things about the bedroom. But you've got to ask about two things. I only really want to know about the bedroom. I don't care about these other rooms because they're already blocked off. Like, if they say they were in the living room, we know their route, because they couldn't have come this way or this way. Bedroom and kitchen. So there's what I know about the bedroom. And what do I know about the kitchen? Only got a couple of things written in there. Similar. Twos and ones. So if something cost three, that would be great. I could go for the two cards worth four points, and it could just be these. I'm going for it. Well, 116 is there. 45 is something new, unless I've not counted properly. No, 45 is something new. Uh, the Beric sisters and Greg didn't pass through the kitchen. Okay. <laughs> Help! Oh, what should I be asking? Nobody is completely ruled out here. I think it was because if Angelica came from the poisonous plant like... oh Greg didn't pass through here so that bit of information is irrelevant because Greg definitely didn't pass through here Mortimer could have passed through here still We haven't asked about him in a while, but we've got so many cards, I think, that reference Mortimer. That what could it be? Te how would we know? There wouldn't be crossovers. I'm going to go for a random card. Two on five. Angelica's Extreme Principles was not the motive. That's the biggest bit of information I've had for ages. So Angelica is not the murderer. And Stanley isn't. Because Angelica has no motive. Stanley has a motive, but... He didn't go through either of these rooms, so has no route to the study. So it is not Angelica, it is not Stanley, it is not the Beric sisters... Which means Mortimer, Claudette, Greg. Mortimer claims he was with Claudette. I need more information. Because they could be accomplices. If she claims that she's with him, perfect. 
But I've, again, I've got so many cards that are one cost for them. Can I? Does my choice here make any difference if I'm going for a random card? I don't think it does. One, three, four. I should have had more random cards, I think. Although, can you get crossover in this one? Yes, I've just had crossover. All right, I have another one. 120. Angelica asserts that Mortimer might have been done by broken dreams. Maybe. That is there. So let's see what we know. Mortimer might have passed through here. He did not go through the garage. But if it's Mortimer, that means his weapon could have been any of these four or five things. Claudette might have passed... Oh, but we know that Claudette didn't pass through the bedroom. We got a maybe, but now we have a definitely didn't. Greg didn't pass through these. If it's Greg, it's one of those three things. And we know the motive. But then we wouldn't know about a... Uh... I don't know if this is a good strategy. <laughs> I, I just want some more information. Uh, we, we know that. I'm going to go one more. Tell me one more bit, please. Oh, come on. I know that one. We might only have a couple of rounds in us here. What do you think I should be asking about? Mortimer with the knife. It could be. If it's Greg, he had to come from there. If it's Claudette, she would have had to come from there. Because she didn't go through the bedroom, which is the only way. So I think somewhere there is a card that if I'd found it would have made this way easier that says nobody went from the bedroom to the kitchen. You think Claudette and Mortimer... Yeah, if, if we got a card saying Claudette says she was with Mortimer, that would be perfect. But we haven't had that one. Mortimer said he was with Claudette. Claudette hasn't said anything. Because Mortimer could have passed through here. Claudette couldn't have, but she doesn't need to have done. Only one of them. I'm going to go for one more. 192 sounds familiar. Yeah, we've had that card. Shall we see if we can find something else about them? So we've got a lot about both of them. So is this my Claudette pile? We already know a big three about them. No, Joel, all you can ask about is the the locations and the people is all you can put in there. So I've put in Claudette and Mortimer. Let me find out everything I know about Claudette and Mortimer to try and make a decision about what to choose here. I know so much, but it's not enough. <laughs> so much stuff. I don't know if this was a good choice. Okay, that's that's what I know about them. So any of this could just be crossover. I think three cards, three points, and just hope that it's one, not one of these ones. I hope that one of them is a new bit of information. Forty. Fifty-one's already gone. So's forty. And one nine two. We've just been given that. Yeah, there's just so much crossover in these things. What about Claudette? We already know Claudette didn't go through the bedroom. Claudette in the garage. Three cards, three points. 
66, we know 192 is not there. 66 is new. And 203 is new. Ooh, okay then. So, Claudette says she was with Greg. And Claudette says Stanley might have been involved in a macabre bet. Well, we know that he wasn't. She could have been with Greg. Because <laughs> she had the, 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 but the murderer and accomplice won't necessarily say they were with each other. It's just if they do, you know that they're either both innocent or the murderer and accomplice. I think we need to know more about Greg then. I've got seven points. Three cards worth four points. Just go for it. I'm sure three's gone. 25 is new. 149 is not new. The new bit of information is Mortimer claims that he was with Greg. <laughs> what does that tell me? Can, can there be two accomplices? I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm not that experienced with it. Can there be? I know there can be accomplices. Advice, yes, yes, yes. Carefully consider the roots. I am carefully considering the roots. Oh. So if Greg's the murderer... Maybe, yeah. Mortimer's just saying he was with everyone. Because why did we discount Stanley? Because Stanley couldn't have... There's no path for Stanley. Can't be him. Angelica's got no motive. Can't be her. They claim the... Well, Claudette and Mortimer claim they were with Greg. We don't know anything about Greg. But he could have been the murderer. And Claudette could have been with him there but she's vouching for him that he wasn't there at the time of the murderer but if Greg's the murderer why would Mortimer back him up as well nobody is backing Mortimer up maybe Mortimer is the murderer and there wasn't an accomplice but Greg could still be the accomplice and could have been hanging out with Claudette I've got three points. I'm going to go for three cards, and I bet they've all been taken. It's got to be Mortimer, right? We know the motive. 40's gone. 151's gone. One, two, nine's gone. Okay, my last points were wasted. So, it is time to solve. 
we're going to say it's Mortimer then. And if it's Mortimer, it was because of broken dreams. How was he killed? So if it was Mortimer, he did not pass through the garage. Ah, oh, if it was Mortimer, it could have been any of four things. Or five things he could have passed. No, but he passes through on the way to getting the thing. Should we say kitchen knife? He could have picked up the... He could have picked up the murder weapon in the shed, though. I am bad at this. I'm going to go with kitchen knife. Did not get enough information about the murder weapon. Was there an accomplice? Ooh. So Claudette and Greg were there. If we're saying Greg is honest. They were in the vestibule. Which, yeah, there's a path from there to the crime scene. Do you think there was an accomplice? Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing knife. Just because if he, he probably was with them, but left before the murder, right? And just grabbed the kitchen knife and has gone that way. Was there an accomplice? I haven't got enough information about that. I'm going to have to say no. Okay, then let's make it bigger. Unless I will wait a second for the delay in case anyone's get any further bids on this before we press the big uh, solve button. I am saying Mortimer because of his broken dreams with a kitchen knife and that there wasn't an accomplice. I need to take it down to an easier difficulty, clearly. I didn't win the medium difficulty multiplayer game we played either. <laughs> but no more bids. I think I'm going to do it then. Oh, I did not. Didn't I choose? No. Let's check your solution. You think the murderer was Mortimer with the kitchen knife motivated by broken dreams. Is that right? Yes. We did it. That's what it was. No points. But there we go. So that's it. <laughs> Who knew that uh, all of that despair was for nothing because we are expert investigators and that was right. So there we go. Okay, expert difficulty next time. Perfect crime mode. Well... I think that there was uh, some fluke involved there. But that doesn't matter because justice was done. Mortimer was found out. Oh, so convinced. For for about 80% of that, I was so convinced it was Stanley and Angelica. As, but as soon as they said they were with each other, it's like, no, you weren't. No, you weren't. You were up to something. Sherlock Holmes consulting detective. <laughs> that would be good. That would be, yeah, we could collaborate on that. I would really like. I can't get hold of a copy. But um, the guy that designed Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective did a like a hard-boiled uh, detective uh, one called Gumshoe. It's really expensive, though. I would really like to play that. But it's like £100, so I don't think it's happening anytime soon. Uh, but yeah, I'd love to do that one. But coming up, at some point soon, will be Black Sonata. Maybe we'll do this next Thursday. Thur uh, Thursday deductions. Where it's a, a hidden movement and logical deduction game involving Shakespeare. Uh, a solo only deduction game, but like here, we can uh, we can we can collaborate on this. So I don't think um, 
Yeah, I think I, I would have been stuck on separating these for a little bit longer, I think. Uh, but thank you for joining me. Oh, thanks, Sam. Um, video. Oh, yes, this is one where I need to look on my proper browser, don't I, to see the Super Chat. There he is. There's the thumbs up controller. Thank you. Glad to see him back. Uh, Paul, like, yeah, Paul, as, as Triple L says, Paul makes the, um, uh, or not makes, but is involved in the development of, I think, all but one of the Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective um, games. So I think he would know the, um, I think he would know the answers, right, for those cases, but yeah, I'd love to. If Paul's never Paul's never heard of this, he says. Well, I I hadn't heard of it until quite recently. Yeah, if if Paul's up for it, we can do another one of these at some point. I'll have to ask him about it. He is he still he's still on Mars in right now, isn't he? Uh, for the expansion of that. Uh, but uh, Paul Grogan of Gaming Rules. Uh, yeah, I'd be happy. But has has Paul got? Now I talk about this gumshoe thing. I wonder if Paul's. Is is that how I know about gumshoe from Paul having it? I wonder. I think that would be a stream of both of us being clueless. But yeah, maybe Paul be up for uh, some gumshoeing. At some points, but yeah, I will. Uh, I'll message him about this because maybe if uh, if Paul's in the mix as well, maybe we will uh, we'll get to the solution with some points remaining at some points. Yes, Black Sonata next Thursday. I will. Where's my pad? Yeah, here's the, here's the pad where I write in my um, what I think's coming up next week. As well as uh, things that aren't on Spotify. Where's the rest of your Devo, Spotify? You haven't got early Devo? Uh, Thursday. Black Sonata. I think I'm a bit hazy about it because I think it would have been like a couple of years ago or more that... Um, he mentioned Gumshoe, if it was even that. Maybe it's a different game I'm thinking about that he mentioned he had. Uh, but yeah, I if if Paul's up for some deduction, maybe he'll join us for some Black Sonata. But yeah, I think I think we could make a good team on uh, some awkward guests uh, on, on expert level. We'll see about that. We'll see. I, I, I think uh, with some more deduction, we could have ended this with some uh, some more points. But yes, that is it for Awkward Guests. We'll be back with some more Awkward Guests. I really enjoyed this. Uh, and yeah, I will message Paul. I think he'll still be in his stream right at this point. Because on Mars is surely going to take him longer than uh, it took me to do uh, Black Sonata. Well, maybe not. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll message him. I'll write another note. Message Paul. Oh, why am I handwriting this? It take me ages. Uh, message Paul about awkward guests. Stroke gumshoe. Yeah, I'll message him and see about that. But as for what I'm going to be doing, that is it for streams this week. But I will be back on Saturday uh, for Viscounts of the West Kingdom Co-op, the last of the West Kingdom uh, Co-op trilogy. Uh, I'll do the whole thing there. And spoilers... Viscounts is my favourite of in the in their co-op modes. Viscounts is absolutely fantastic, but um, yeah. So I'll be back for that. If you are a patron, thank you very much. By the way, patreon.com forward slash slicker drips. Uh, you uh, have already seen Viscounts of the West Kingdom, and you will be seeing this weekend at Grand Austria Hotel with um, a two-player game with Little Glass Marty with all of the new expansion modules turned on at once. It's inadvisable doing all of the modules at once. But uh, no, it's, it still works, but there's just a lot going on to remember. Whoa, there's the iPad. 
Uh, yes, and next week there will be more streams, there will be more stuff, there will be at least Black Sonata and other stuff as well. Maybe there'll be uh, Solo Grand Austria Hotel with the expansion stuff on. Although there's, there's more stuff uh, I need to get going on as well. We'll see that next week though. Thank you very much for joining me for this. Thank you for uh, helping me uh, catch Mortimer. I will see you very, very soon. Thanks, everyone. No Marty Cam, although he is making a really nice pose at the moment, and I wish that I could show you. Uh, thank you very much for being here, though, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>